check engine light again. Frankly speaking, I'm getting fed up with it because I know the reason, but I've been too lazy to fix it. But fourth code is a PO420. It refers to the catalytic converter. A side note is that uh, the sensors are new and I've also replaced the catalytic converter to an aftermarket uh, MagnaFlow 1. This is the root cause of this phenomenon. Well, now I do what I always do. I clear the fault code from the system, but it's not an elegant solution because the check engine light will come out again and again and again. So I'm going to fix it and I show you how. Nice. P0420 error um, refers to uh, some problem inside the catalytic converter system, uh, but um, it might happen when you replace the catalytic converter for not an OEM one. Well, the subject here is a 2003 Honda Accord Type S 2.4 uh, engine, and uh, the catalytic converter has been replaced uh, to uh, a MagnaFlow one. Well, uh, and since then, this P0420 error um, comes up randomly. Uh, if you're a professional and you've got the tool, uh, you might adjust it, because especially for these kind of Japanese cars, uh, the tolerance for the oxygen sensing uh, is, is quite uh, narrow. And that might uh, lead to this error when you replace the catalytic converter to an aftermarket one. Uh, the other solution is uh, this mini cat, and it needs to be installed to, uh, to the diagnostic sensor. Uh, in some cars, for some cars, it's after the catalytic converter. Uh, for this Honda, it's inside the catalytic converter. So let's see how we do it. First, you need to disconnect the connector of the oxygen sensor. It's uh, under the passenger seat, right here. And there's uh, this rubber insulation element that also needs to be removed. It practically it, it uh, needs to be pushed down to uh, remove the harness. Well, cable is out. Then we can start to remove the sensor itself. Well, here's the catalytic converter and the diagnostic sensor itself. Um, as you can see, there is no heat shield around the converter. That's a funny thing, because uh, it was point welded, and uh, one day I realized that uh, the lower section is lost, and there was the only the upper part left, and created terrible noise at every start up and shut down. So let's remove the sensor itself. I use a special oxygen sensor socket for the removal because uh, the sensor is tend to stuck, so uh, a common wrench, uh, sometimes it's not eligible to loosen the sensor itself. Before reapplying it, uh, it's advised to uh, lubricate it with uh, grease. I use a uh, ceramic grease that is uh, heat resistant and resistant again uh, and enough against the high heat around the catalytic converter. When you fix it, you need to tighten it to a torque of 44 Newton meters. All that's left is to reconnect the harness and then the job is done. 